What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your fellow Baizano, as always, Rino Zaurini. Calcio with Rino. What is the better way to talk about calcio today? <laughs> Inter against Benfica. Well, actually, Benfica and Inter, because they played in Portugal for the Champions League, the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Man, I did say this morning at my buongiorno da Vancouver che di sicuramente la, ci saranno delle sorprese that they will be surprised because the ball is around because with the Inter's let's say luck in this Champions League you know but besides that I watched the second half and figure that I don't know what the hell happened they had their chance but they couldn't pass by that freaking you know, that wall that apparently we have been seeing at the Champions League with Inter. But, guys, uh, after the second, I watched since the beginning of the second half. That was a beautiful goal from Barella. Like, nobody couldn't score. Barella took his shot. Bada bim, bada boom. And, you know, yes, they played this kind of stuff. Got the natural. Once again, Italian soccer is proving everybody wrong. Now, we can hate on Inter. You can hate on Juventus, but... You see, a team like Inter, we see that they've been cacas at the Campeonato. They managed to beat Benfica. I know, the second half, and the second leg, it's going to be tough. But they grind to the end, and Portugal and uh, Benfica, there, they had their shots whatsoever, but I don't know what happened to that guy, Ramos, whatever that freaking guy is, the, the so-called tough guy. One game he plays good, and the... Uh, two games if I got it. But it's true there that uh, Benfica didn't have, didn't have their players. But at the same time, sportivamente speaking, Mr. Inzaghi, as much as I hate the guy, he proved everybody wrong. He read the game properly. He managed the game properly. He didn't do stupid mistakes. And I put the enter or win 2-0. I'm not going to get into the ref and all this bullshit like everybody's complaining about. I see what, what I see and, you know, we'll see what happens. There might be big surprises tomorrow with Milan and Napoli. We shall see. But, uh, you know, these guys, they just transform themselves. But we got to be careful because usually in the last time I checked, they went with Porto. They got through the quarterfinal. And then they lost with uh, Spezia. Now, I don't know who they're playing this weekend, but let's see what they're gonna do and let's see what happens. As this center, you know, it's kind of like uh, Villarreal last year. They were still in place. They had nothing uh, to lose. And the only thing they have is uh, Coppa Italia the semifinal. But you know, they went until the semi-final Villarreal. They lost with uh, Liverpool, but guess what? The Liverpool had the easy run. Milan, Inter, uh, Villarreal, and then at the end they got uh, fucking in the ass with uh, Real Madrid. So, good performance, and let's see what these fellow amici interisti were gonna do. So, yeah. Now, tomorrow we'll do some more. Italian action on your way then of course we're gonna enjoy on Thursday which I'm not gonna look forward because <laughs> who knows because sporting can be tough man I have a bad feeling with Juventus sporting then of course Mourinho is gonna create the magic he's gonna win and then as always with us Juventini we're always getting luck at Champions League it is what it is I just love it but I don't give a shit anymore like, if they prove me wrong, I'll be happy, but after these four years, what I'm seeing. But, the country Italian arrivato, we're proving everybody wrong. Unfortunately, Man City beat Bayern 3-0. Hopefully, they do something on the way back, but scoring four goals, five goals with Bayern. Uh, Man City. <laughs> Anyways, my fellow paisans. Put a like and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow with Bonjour da Vancouver. And then we'll be, I'll be back after for the Italian, 
the Mihan and Napoli. Okay. Ciao, ciao, you.